Hello Blazers, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about something that is very, very special. Now, here's the thing. The majority of my viewers that watch my channel are from, like, the UK, the US, and, well, mainly English speakers. And the majority of media, especially movies and TV series, like Hollywood and stuff like that, it's all produced in English-speaking countries. And people from those countries sometimes don't really think that, you know, other languages apart from English exist. But they do. And the thing is, is that basically every single piece of media that's released in the West also has to be translated to, for example, Russian and has to be translated in a way that would be appealing to the Russian audience, to the Russian consumer. Then sometimes it creates some uh, very interesting results. Ну, бля, сколько? Ладно, заткнись. Бля, пошел нахуй. Я сказал дать ему пизды и кинуть где-нибудь. Yeah, right. We're not gonna be talking about terrible Russian video game and movie translations today, but we're gonna be talking about something that is very close. You see, not only the content of the media itself has to be translated, but also the title of that media. Every single movie or TV show basically is translated to Russian, and a lot of the time, the translations of those titles are absolutely abysmal. Video game titles are not usually translated in Russia, but when they are, they're also terrible. So yes, today we're going to be talking about terrible movie, TV show and video game title translations to, from English to Russian. Now let's get right into it. How I actually got this idea is that I was looking to watch the movie Goodfellas by Martin Scorsese. And that movie translated to Russia is Slavne Parni, which is a good translation. It basically means Goodfellas. However, when you google Slavne Parni, that is not the only thing that comes up because there's also a 2016 movie starring Ryan Gosling that is called The Nice Guys. And guess what the translation of that movie is to Russia. Slavne Parni. They just translated it at the exact same thing. Why would you translate a completely different movie to have the exact same title in Russian as the movie that came before it, which is not like some obscure movie? Goodfellas is a huge movie. It's legendary. Why would you translate it to have the same title? So I was like, okay, that's pretty stupid, but I've encountered something recently as well. I was on YouTube, and you know how YouTube sometimes recommends you to like buy movies on YouTube and to watch movies on YouTube? And those recommendations come up to me in Russian, because I'm a Russian, obviously. And one of the movies that was recommended to me by the algorithm was this movie I've never seen before starring Johnny Depp called in Russian Во всё тяжкое. Uh, so the problem here is that um, there's a massive TV show. I don't know if you guys heard of it. It's called Breaking Bad. Well, Breaking Bad in Russian is called Во всё тяжкое. Okay, and the translation is actually good because Vasya Tashki basically means to like to break bad So it's it's a good translation. It's a decent enough translation So I was like, what is this? Why does this movie have this basically the same title as Breaking Bad? And I know it has nothing to do with the Breaking Bad universe because I'm a huge fan of it Okay, and I was right because the original movie starring Johnny Depp is called The Professor And they translated the movie title to be Vasya Tashki When Breaking Bad in Russian is Vasya Tashki what is this? What is this? I don't know why I'm getting so worked up over this, but this is so stupid. Why would you translate the movie The Professor to Breaking Bad and making it seem like some Breaking Bad ripoff? What is this? So guys, those are the two things that made me want to make this video. Now let's get into the real good stuff. Okay guys, sorry, wait a second. I have to interrupt this program to give you a sponsor message brought to you by me. I am once again asking you to buy my U2s. U2s are these little YouTube figurines that you can buy for yourself as a little souvenir, as a little decor for your house maybe, and also support your favorite creators, meaning me. I'm your favorite creator. It's a nice high quality figurine, obviously depicting me myself. I designed it myself, and if you guys buy it, you support the channel. U2s offers free worldwide shipping, so if you guys want to get yourself one of these and support my channel, make sure to go over to the link down in the description and get yourself one. Now let's get back to the video. First of all, let's start off with some video game titles, because there's not that much of them, but they're all abysmal. So in Russia, they don't really translate video game titles like I said before, but there's one company which loves to do it, and that is Sony. Sony absolutely loves translating the titles of their exclusive games for the PlayStation. So for example, the first one is The Last of Us. Both Last of Us 1 and 2 had the same translation, and guess what the translation is? The translation is Adni is Nas, which literally means like they're one of us, or ones of us, I guess, right? The actual correct translation would be Pasleg is nas. And I've seen this debated online. People are making an argument that, you know, if the title was Pasledny is nas, it wouldn't fix, fit on the box as well, right? And yes, it does sound good. It actually sounds, it actually rhymes, you know? The Last of Us, Adni is nas. Yeah, I guess if you had the correct translation on the box, it wouldn't fit. Uh, how about not fucking translating it in the first place? How about that? 
What's the point? And Sony has done that with multiple games. Some of their translations are actually pretty decent. For example, Until Dawn got translated to Dajit Darasveta. Doesn't sound as decent, but you know, the translation is correct. Another one that I think is really stupid is uh, Infamous, which is another exclusive PlayStation game. They translated it as Durnaya Reputatsia, which literally means like, it basically means Infamous. It's a correct translation, but like, why? Why? Like, look at the box art. It looks so bad. It looks like some bootleg Russian game from 2007. Like some bootleg Russian stalker mod or something. You know what I mean? And they do it so much as well. For example, Uncharted 4 A Thief's Ends, right? Thank God they didn't translate Uncharted, but they translated the full game title to Uncharted 4 Putvara. <laughs> Putvara translates to as the way of the thief. It doesn't translate to the end of the thief, right? So the a thief's end. So it sucks cock. It sucks massive cock. All right, so now that we're through with video games, let's talk about movie titles. The first one I want to mention is my absolute favorite. It's so stupid. You guys know that there's this video game series called Need for Speed, which is like my favorite video game series of all time. And a few years ago, there was a Need for Speed movie starring Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad. So this is like my dream come true. And here's the thing, Need for Speed is a massively recognizable name in Russia. Need for Speed is loved by Russians, like literally every person I ever talked to has played Need for Speed. And so the movie title is Need for Speed, and if you just release the movie as Need for Speed, I think it would have been pretty fair. This is an issue as well, video game movies have always been translated in Russia as well. For example, Resident Evil became uh, a zwa. Thank God at least they didn't translate Silent Hill to Tiche. <laughs> I don't even want to say it, man. Tiki home. But yeah, so the movie was called Need for Speed, and guess what the translation was in Russian? The translated version was Need for Speed, Zhazda Skorosti. <laughs> so basically, Need for Speed, Colin, Need for Speed. It's the dumbest fucking thing of all time. <laughs> Why? Just why? There are a few examples as well of translated titles where the translators basically did such a bad job that they flipped the entire idea of the title on its back. For example, the Tarantino movie Death Proof, okay? You understand the title of the movie, right? You know, the idea is that, you know, the character in the car is death proof, like, can't be killed essentially, right? Like, waterproof, you know what I mean. Well, the Russian movie title is Dokazatelstvo Smerti, which means the proof of death. You know, proof, like evidence. Oh my god! Who hires these people? Jesus Christ! And so that is a good example when the title is completely flipped on its head. However, most titles, when translated in Russian, um, they just- it's like they just came out of somebody's ass. Like, they make zero sense, and they're usually awful. And the thing is that these titles are usually so far-fetched from the original that you can't even, like, guess what the original would be called from the Russian title, because it's not a direct translation. So, for example, the first one, there's a great French movie called The Intouchables. The Russian translation of that movie is... Uh, one plus one. That's, that's the, that's the fucking translation of the title. Not Niprikasayame, which would be the right translation. One plus one. Where'd it come from? Here's another one that's become Durnaya Reputatsia at this point. Malchishnik Vegasi, which is, uh, tra literally translates to Bachelor Party in Vegas. And now you guys are thinking, what the hell kind of movie is this, right? It's because, once again, I'm giving you the title, you can't even guess what the original movie would be. It just doesn't make sense. Well, this is the Russian version of the title for Hangover. Yes, that's right. They translated hangover to bachelor party in vegas like the most fucking weirdly literal translation possible i can't even compare it it's like i don't know if it's like you translated the title of the movie heat to like bank robbery in new york or some shit it's like it's like so stupid and again there's a ton of translations which are just so bs that it might lead you to believe that it's like a new sequel to some movie you've seen before for example there was this movie called shark knight 3d whatever i don't know what the hell this b movie is but the thing is that the translated version of this movie was called Chelusti 3D. The problem is that Chelusti is the Russian translation for Jaws, okay, which is a massive famous movie. And so somebody might see Chelusti 3D and be like, yeah, this is a new Jaws movie, but it's not. Why would they do this? At this point, it's literally scamming, like you're scamming your viewers into believing this is something that it's not. Another bad translation that people usually bring up uh, when, you know, there's conversation about these bad movie title translations is Inception by Christopher Nolan, uh, which uh, the correct translation to Russian would be Vnidrenie, which basically means Inception. However, the Russian version of the movie is called Nachala, 
which means the beginning. They literally translated Inception to the beginning. And I understand Inception can also mean the beginning, but that's a different meaning of the words. Like, again, they did they use Google Translate for this shit? Like, they didn't even care about the context of the movie or anything? Why? I think where it really all started for these terrible movie translations though for Russia is uh, probably Die Hard, you know, the classic movie with Bruce Willis. You understand what Die Hard means, right? And, you know, there's, there's a lot of debate how you could correctly translate it to Russian, but it's definitely not what they fucking translated it to as a result. The translation in Russian, the Russian version of Die Hard is called Krepki Areshik which means uh, a hard nut, or like a sturdy nut. Not this kind of nut, you know what I mean? Like, like the one you eat? Well, you can eat that one as well. Okay, let's just stop this. But again, regardless, it's terrible fucking translation. So now you guys might be thinking, okay, these are all absolutely abysmal, but why? Why did they do this? Because a lot of these are obviously intentional. Well, the thing is that apparently these translation bureaus or these uh, companies that own these movies, they have a belief that uh, apparently if you change the title in Russian, you will have like a bigger crossover with the Russian audience and will interest the Russian audience more. One thing I noticed when looking at these is that uh, the Russian titles of these a lot of these movies are usually just way hornier like there's way more references to sex and I don't know why I mean I guess it's working if they do it for years now they've been doing it for decades I guess Russians are a bunch of a bunch of horny bastards but again I don't know is it really that necessary would moviegoers really watch the movie less if you translate it literally from the English language into Russian would that just ruin the box office results I don't think so so this is just an excuse for translators to like to fuck around they're basically taking the piss at this point like this is this is not real like one of the dumbest ones as well that people always talk about is Captain America the first Avenger in Russian the title of that movie is Pervy Mstitil just the first Avenger they uh, removed Captain America from the title because apparently uh, Russians won't go watch a movie where there's uh, America in the title or something <laughs> What? It's not like Russian people love movies like Once Upon a Time in America or something, right? American Pie, I don't know, whatever. But no, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you know, the one that gets like billions of ru rubles in box office? Yeah, Captain America, no, they won't go watch that. No, uh, let's remove Captain America from the title, then they'll go see the movie. What is this logic, man? They're so stupid. So yeah, guys, I have nothing really else to say in this video. I hope you guys did find this video entertaining. You know, this is just one of those things that you never really think about. Me as a Russian I just grew up with this and I never really thought about it but then I kind of thought about it recently and I was like yeah this is stupid I gotta make a video on this so yeah guys that is going to be pretty much it for today's video I hope you guys did enjoy it if you guys did please make sure to slap the like button on it and as well guys if you want to support my channel make sure to go over to the link down in the description to my patreon uh, donate to it I would gladly appreciate it it helps me out a lot and yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys in the next one peace